Welcome everyone to the Spring Valley Nature Center and Heritage Farm. We've got a lot to check out here. We also have Bison's Bluff, a nature themed playground. That's right, we have another fall adventure for you. We officially enter November. It's getting into the 60s today. And we are back in Schaumburg, Illinois. What the heck? All right, you know I'm checking this out. All right, so, you know, I've done a lot of Lake and McHenry County lately, up north in Wisconsin. I want to head south. So, this place has been on my radar for a while. I have a lot of, of course, the nature stuff, and as well as some historic, and educational nature things. We just saw their educational nature center. Pretty cool. We are kind of past the fall peak colors, but still some, you know, leaves on the trees anyway. And there's a lot of stuff to check out here. One of the biggest things I want to see is their heritage farm, which is basically like a historical village. I'm guessing similar to what we saw in Rockton. And it's been a while since I've added anything to my suburban Cook County playlist, so that's why we're here today. It's very much an educational themed program over here. This is the Learning Garden and the Imagination Station. Kind of reminds me of the Heller Nature Center out in Highland Park, which I haven't been to in a while. I gotta get back there. I've done a couple of vlogs there. But it has been a while. Broom corn. The dig pit. Now a lot of this stuff is probably off season now at this point, so not really anything going on in here particularly. But I 
But I don't know, this just seemed like the perfect place to celebrate our little bit of Indian summer, or I don't know what you want to call it, we're getting to our 60 degrees in November. This is a pretty big property, I'll say that. Two of the main things I want to check out today are the Vulcaning Heritage Farm and the Merkel Cabin. Both of which should be down this trail a bit. A little side trail here. And yeah, I've never been here before. And I actually used to live very close to this area. Oh, this is where they got bees. Hmm. Well, it's close I want to get to that. No matter where I go in nature, I always seem to run across these things. Wow, is that thing creaking? All right, I guess we can check the log cabin out. I don't think this is the cabin, but we'll check it out. Oh, this is definitely camping with Steve vibes, though. <laughs> A lot of people have left their mark here over the years. I mean, I guess it is a cabin. It's pretty secure. But we'll walk down the trail a little bit more see if there's anything else. Not particularly exciting if this is it. Another one of these guys. Alright, I see what looks like a much bigger cabin up ahead. So that's probably the official cabin. And we do have some water over here. Kind of hard to see though. Not particularly accessible. There is our cabin. Guess I can take a quick walk on this little trail here. Might get a better view of the water. And then we'll see if we can get inside the cabin. little water next to the cabin as well. And a bridge.
All right, so this cabin is actually the Merkel Homestead from 1938 to 1979. 1979, not all that long ago, all things considered. Got ourselves another little play area here. And the one thing that has always fascinated me about Schomburg in general is how you can mix a lot of cool nature spots right along their little mini Chicago skyscrapers that I always call it, but all their office buildings over there just kind of mixed up with nature. Man, there are a lot of big ducks along here. Apparently we can take this trail to get to the Heritage Farm, but we're going to come back to that because we still got to check out this log cabin over there. We may run across the issue with stuff being closed for the season. I don't even know what's inside this log cabin, but only one way to find out. You are here. Yeah, I like this map better. The one up by the visitor center was kind of throwing me off because it was like north was to the south, south to the north, Schomburg Road was down here, and it's not the way it's supposed to be. Anyway, this is where we started out here. There's the playground, our parking lot. There's the Vera Meineke Nature Center. And we are here, here's our pond. Walked along this trail, and we're trying to get eventually over to here, the Wokening Heritage Farm. Not really getting a good impression that this thing is actually open. Yeah, not really good vibes there. They had a key badge. I'm guessing it's used for special events. I do appreciate that they try to kind of direct you in the right direction. A little surprised there's no barricades on this bridge. <laughs> a little bit of a boardwalk here. But I think we're entering the farm now. I mean, I found some animals. Pretty interesting start so far. And pretty spoiler free, didn't look too much in particular to what this heritage farm consists of. I could definitely smell animals, that's for sure. Oh yeah, we're definitely on a farm. Found a pig. Actually, a few pigs. <laughs> didn't even know this dude over here. I heard the uh, noise, but I didn't realize this guy was just chilling out right next to me here, too. 
Yeah, stay away from Piggly Wiggly, folks. I'm telling you. Don't trust those guys. Do not shop the pig. Yeah, so I guess you could just kind of walk around the farm. Yeah, I kind of had a feeling this might be the case, but it looks like the Heritage Farm Visitor Center is closed for the season. Could be some private property along here as well. Uh, yeah, this little gate's locked. Looks like there's a museum which is closed as well. Oh, hey guys. <laughs> I don't have any food for you. Looks like there's some on the other side there too. Oh. oh yeah, they got some food over there. Oh yeah, and as I suspected, this thing is being run by the Schaumburg Park District. wonder if this thing used to be connected to Arlington Park. Yeah, everything is definitely locked up for the season, but that's okay. Still a pretty neat little property. Can't keep me from getting my window shots. It's where we never run across any of these at work. And fancy Schaumburg neighborhoods right next door. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think the last thing to check out is if we got a view here. Kind of like a workshop, I guess. I'm not even gonna try and pronounce that. Definitely not like Rockton. This is a farm, <laughs> but not necessarily a historic village. But still a cool little property. I'm glad I checked it out. I don't think I can get inside this thing. <laughs> and I think that's gonna about do it here from the Spring Valley Nature Center and Heritage Farm. And we'll just walk a little bit to get back to our car. Yeah, I kind of wish it was like a historic town <laughs> similar to Rockton, but that's okay. So there's still a lot of cool stuff here on this property. Looks like we got ourselves another little boardwalk over here. This almost has some waterfall potential. I'm not doing too much right now. All right, this place definitely gets some bonus points for the boardwalk.
they do have a really nice mix of paved and off-road trails so pretty much anyone could walk this place oh yeah i'm very much ready to ditch this jacket now <laughs> i can't believe it's november but i'll take it because we all know what happens in the chicagoland area in january in february so enjoy it while it lasts Another fall adventure in the books. Click the like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for watching.